Okay. I've got the correct page number now, so let's see. Yeah, of course, it's for a previous edition. Oh, it's in the, haha, -ha. different book. Here we go. Okay, so we count your successes as half as you are using your stat and Tomasz is using his skill because you're using stealthy unskilled. Is so the I still thing. fail. Um, well, you have one success and unfortunately Tomasz has two. So <laughs> if you didn't do badly, I mean, you were mm. almost, almost, but no, she, no, she <laughs> got Sean Connery. Um, right. So Tomas finds you and he raps at the door uh, and he says, Lord Stravit wants you to see you in the foyer. Is he? Um, unfortunately, I will have to decline the Lord's offer until my friend is available to accompany us. When will that be? Why don't you wait here with me and find out? You hear him walk off. Do I have any, like... <laughs> I probably don't, but do I have a, a, like a sword stone? You're like a sword stone. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like a, sh a sharp. Ha ha! Yeah. <laughs> Sharpen my blade. Yeah, you can definitely do that. It'll take 12 hours. If you want to wait, Tomaj is going to stay in the hall outside. That's fine. He's going to wait. That's fine. He went away to tell Stravit the situation, and he's going to come back and wait. And I will wait. So, yeah. So, I, fast forward. Because I don't, I know I need to respect the Lord, but at the same time, he has shown <laughs> that he may he, be an enemy of my Duke. So, I have to be careful. He, I do not he tried to feed you to zombies. <laughs> exactly. And also, if I leave my friend, her, her chances are extremely slim. Mm -hmm. If they have malcontent. Okay, so as, as we need to wrap up soon, let's, let's try and put this in the bag. And apologies for the kind of rush at the end, kind of like the first session as well. But time-wise, this is just how things went. Uh, let's see if we can wrap this up. So, you wait 12 hours. Bryn recovers. You feel not good. <laughs> you, you, you've been sleeping on the floor uh, with some linens for a pillow. Uh, uh, how, how has that affected my, my tax? Uh, your uh, tax is reduced by three. Okay. Just need to get you on your feet, damn it. <laughs> so so I, I've sort of like, I've woken up, but I'm still looking like rough as. Yep. And I should be like, oh. Gunter, what, what, what happened? Ren, I was worried about you there. Uh, you and as, as you speak, you hear Tomas at the door again, because he hears you guys speak inside, or whisper at least. He bangs on the door and is like, Lord Stravit, foyer. I will be with the Lord forthrightly. I am just helping my friend to his feet. Her feet. Mm-hmm. And I will be doing that. Mm -hmm. So I, I shakily get to my feet. I'm sort of like, it, it's clear that I've got virtually sort of like no strength in my limbs. I'm leaning like really heavily on. Mm -hmm. Hand you your staff. Thank you. And I'll use that with one hand to help me up and then like one hand on Gunther's shoulder. I yep. managed to get us out of the basement, but I've held up, I've, I've secured part of the mansion and, I, and I've held here until you have recovered. Can you walk? I, I think so, yes. 
I do not know what awaits us out that door. But together we will face it. I, I, if this I, I lord means I, I, us I, ill. I grip, I grip your shoulder a little, like, but again without bearing any strength. And I'm like, yes, yes. If the lord means us ill, he will face justice. Just like any noble or commoner in the land. As is my duty. Despite my meager appearance. So if you head to the foyer as instructed, uh, you I'll, open. I'll have my my hand on the pommel like of my blade. Mm -hmm. I won't have it drawn at this stage, mm -hmm. but I want to make it clear that I'm wary. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. and my... So as you come out from the empty room into the servants' quarters, uh, Tomash is there, uh, and in his hand, he's not like brandishing it or anything. But you see a wicked-looking cudgel, uh, a shillelagh maybe in a different land. Uh, but he's not like waving it in your face or anything. But he's 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 packing. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's packing some heat. Thankfully, I have my whole armor on this time. <laughs> yeah, sans breastplate because that is is an extra breastplate. Thanks oh, to so the bear. So my heart is exposed. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Well, you wear your heart on your sleeve or something like that. Uh, <laughs> maybe soon, literally. Maybe uh, not literally. Thank you. Um, okay. So you go from, let me get to the map again. So servants' quarters, uh, you exit into the kitchen, kitchen into the dining room, dining room, the foyer. Lord Stravitz stands at the top of these stairs as you walk down there to face him. He looks down on you. He's dressed in his finery, his accoutrement as the lord of the land. He's brandishing a, a dazzling sword and uh, he does not look very well uh, as far as uh, his, his mental state is. He doesn't look ill. It is perhaps a, a deeper malaise. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Tomaj follows you in there. He, he doesn't look very pleased. He, he looks actually a bit pained about the situation but he, he follows you in that way that like the tough guy working for his boss does mm -hmm. so he's there and he's going to be at the door being like you're not going to leave through this door but he's going to be there and he, he looks deeply unhappy um, let's see so Is as you really walk in <laughs> what? yeah it is, it is. Really it, is. A three it is and you could have died in the cellar you succeeded, so you're here. You could have been zombie chow. Anyway, you walk in there to the to the foot of the stairs. Uh, you see Stravid up at the balcony, second floor, and uh, he points the sword at you, Gunther. And uh, he says, Villain, <laughs> I challenge you to a duel. You have besmirched the honor and are you going to take his sword? <laughs> right, so, so what I'm going to do is, because I'm already like leaning on Gunter's shoulder, and I'm aware, like, if I fail my fault roll on this spell, I'm out again. Yep. So what I'm going to do? John, is, you, are, you, you. So, so, so what, what I'm going to do? I have literally is, just got you back awake. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to lean into like Gunter's like, like whisper in his ear, and I'm just going to say, whatever, whatever happens next, he, you need to, you need to stop him. And then I'm just, as I'm still looking over Gunter, I'm just going to throw my hand out, and I'm going to try and call the sword that the mm -hmm. that the Lord's holding to me. Yep. Okay. Let's see. It is on the first page, and then Call of Iron, Obstacle Three. Yep. So you can grab the sword with your will and. We'll see if you can succeed in the spell first. So, sorcery obstacle three. Okay. Let's, let's flip back to the right thing. Sorcery. Uh, no modifiers. Uh, no author. Obstacle three. Success. You do. And as we see, you're, you're wounded. So, there's a penalty die. So, actually, you roll four dice only, even though you have four, five. Um, ba -da -ba -da. what does the thing say again? So, uh, now you make a power test, uh, where 
your power is the amount of will you have instead of your actual power. Okay. So just like substitute your your power. Uh, just roll your will, actually, because okay. that's what it means. So, I so presume no modifiers. Yeah, no modifiers, and then Stravit will roll his power because he's using his actual muscles, is, whereas is, you're is using... the base obstacle one, I presume? Yeah, yeah, we're just measuring like how, how well you succeed. Ugh. Oof. Oof, and no sixes. Oof. Uh, let's see. Stravit... Ah, well, he's not like a super buff boy. Uh, da -da -da -da. Aha! <laughs> Aha! It is a tie. And I... I think ties go to the defender. Hmm... Mm. I'm fine to run with that. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, well, in the interest of moving forward, uh, let's say that they do. I think I read it just now when I was checking the other thing. Right. So let me make that fault test. Yep. And it's ob what's the obstacle? Sorry, this uh, three. three. Yeah, because it's the spell obstacle again. It's a bit nice knowing you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically back to square one except yeah so i do the whole thing like that and i think maybe like you see the sword sort of go like that a bit in his hand but he like holds on to it yeah and then yeah, i just Stravid, crumple to the floor yeah stravid is giving his like super villain speech monologue and then suddenly he's like <laughs> while he's going to rush him while he's doing that <laughs> yeah, he's he's like grabbing his sword in both hands like <laughs> looking like bewildered like Qu uh, uh, what quick uh, <laughs> while i'm collapsing i've bought you a momentary <laughs> yeah, yeah. maybe advantage dice take him gunter yeah yeah uh, <laughs> i will out, homie. <laughs> glory hound um so um i accept for king and country <laughs> yeah <laughs> for duke and duchess yeah. so uh bryn a second b5 wound to the as a result okay so so that's b5 yeah, second um, so dot second under the down. first one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So what Bryn is now having, Bryn has two light wounds, which means Bryn has minus two to everything now. Bryn is not doing good. Um, the Eldritch power racks her body. Just, just remember, Gunther, whatever I said, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Gunther, you brandish your steel, you charge the Lord Stravit. And I presume you wanna, do you wanna throw down with him? Yeah. Cool. Uh, we can do, uh, like I've prepped, uh, I, I managed to prep the roll 20 bits beforehand. We could have used the fight subsystem. We're not gonna do that now. <laughs> that, that will take a, a bit of time. But uh, we can just do sword versus sword. You're, you're gonna sword duel and <clears throat> you're gonna roll your sword, leave the difficulty at one. Uh, you can add a plus one advantage die because, like, the Lord is surprised by the the sword flying out, wanting to fly out of his hand mm -hmm. for no reason that he can perceive. You're, you're welcome, good sir. And uh, he's gonna roll his sword as well. Okay. And uh, this is important now. So you have stuff that I will accept as forks into your sword skill, mm -hmm. and that's what, what that means is if you want to use your sword but you want to get some more dice uh you do have the brawling skill am i right mm -hmm. i do if you want to fork your brawling skill which is to say take one more dice because you know brawling as well as sword yep if you want to not do this honorably which is to say sword fighting if you want to like rush in like try and poke him in the eye like elbow in the face and like cut him down with the sword like street fight as well as sword fight you can get an extra die consider it's just me versus the whole house yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you can you can fork your brawling into sword by doing like dirty stuff as well yeah. as just like oh, yeah. fencing uh so you I'm, can i'm probably more accustomed to being an armor than he is younger faster oh um... he has and you can hear as you start like rushing forward you can hear tomash in the back of like 
no armor. <laughs> like he, he's trying to like quote the code duello at you as yeah. you charge because Stravit isn't armored and you're in armor and that's not how things go. So Thomas is like, wait, you didn't specify well, armor. Let me take my armor off. <laughs> yeah, because you, you you yeah, you didn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 to be to be fair though, Gunter, the code duello also says like don't set zombies on them before the fight. Yeah, so. yeah, that's that's true. It's a specific clause, like I believe fifty six, yeah, section B, no zombies. Right. So modifiers two. Like yeah, extra. one from the fact that his sword almost right. flew out of his hand, and one because you're yeah. dirty. I don't, I don't have any half <laughs> dirty, dirty I? boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're the face. What is the difficulty one? Oh, uh, one I'm just like measuring how many. Uh, one six. If you if you still have faint, I don't recall how I many. Used two. I don't know how many I had. Yeah, you, you only had two. So you you're tapped out. So three is what you're gonna have, and then Stravit. Let's see. Let us see how Hello this. Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to. I don't know zombie with you again. S sorry, I pull up a chair, man. I've, I, I, I'm here. I've got the table reserved. <laughs> I need him to be um, really bad at this, but I have a feeling he won't be. <laughs> okay. He also has brawling, but he is not a dirty boy. And he is, and this is a thing you might have learned if you wanted to like dig into Stravit or whatever. He's a famed duelist. So. <laughs> 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 That's it. A sword. And that. So here goes. He doesn't have modifiers. He's not ready for this. He expected you to be a noble, and you're basically a, a like a peasant villain. So, oh, and you beat him. Thou beatest him. I'm gonna Does check. That mean it. I win the combat, or just yeah, that? you you win. And uh, like your your statement was, you wanna kill him, like you wanna. Uh, and we we needed him. to we needed to talk about this beforehand. All oh, right, okay. But um, his his intent is to kill you. Go for the kill. Okay. Yeah. 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 Kill. Uh, sorry. Again, like the structure is you talk yeah, about yeah. this beforehand. I didn't realize. Yeah, I need to say that clearly. Like, you're you're jumping at the bit to get in. Like Thomas is surprised. We're all surprised. Um, so I, basically, what happens is you're in the stairs, isn't he? Yeah, he's at the top of the stairs, being like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, so basically what happens is I do like a kind of a, a maneuver. I get up to the landing with him. I pivot round so he has to turn to me, to face me. Uh -huh. As he does, like, I catch his sword, which I'm guessing is a dueling sword, probably a little uh -huh. thinner yeah, than mine. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a fine, noble dueling catch sword. Catch it on the, the cross guard, kind of push it out, punch him straight in the face, <laughs> right? And then uh, <laughs> right, just sock him one. Yes. And in that momentary, like... Pick up your pass, teeth, boy! <laughs> You know, in that momentary lapse, I just spin and throat just yep. done. And I think because you're you smack him and you slice his throat, and he he topples over the edge, and he he flips and lands on the yeah, and I, floor, foyer floor. Basically, I, without pause, I I catch his blade as it comes down, point mm -hmm. both blades at the men. And when this is what happens when you cross the duke. This is what happens when you try to kill a king's man. You have one chance now. Surrender your arms, get on your knees, pledge your service to me until this matter is solved, or you will face justice now. Okay. Uh, you can you can persuade <laughs> This is oration. No, 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 no. This is this is you doing a different thing. This is not a speech. For, do I for get a bonus for having oration? Yeah, yeah, though, do, because... you do. You get bonuses. You're but... trying, Wang. Do I get a bonus for something like gutted their lord in front of yep. him. Yep. I get a bonus for pointing out I've just come back from slaying those creatures in the cellar. They don't know this. But I'm slaying the creatures <laughs> in the cellar. I am ready. So Here's my CV. <laughs> you heard me take on a bear. I am ready. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I fought a bear. <laughs> they call me the bear slayer. Um, yeah, you, you have under your being learned, you have a persuade. Uh, feel free to roll that and you can add uh, your you killed Stravit, and you're blatantly a, a skilled swordsman, so you, you can add plus two to your thing. Some would say, like, I'm a lucky beginner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some would say. They, they would say, but they'd be lying. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a two modifier. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the difficulty? Uh, sorry. 
Let me get Tomaj. I'm guessing uh, if I fail, I have to three. fight the entire household. I <laughs> uh, no, well, if if it's if you fail, then uh, Tomaj uh, will will take Lukash and out the door away. Okay. Uh. Now, well, you can mark your second thing uh, under persuade because you've used it twice now. Uh, yeah, you do not succeed. Uh, Tomas doesn't say anything. He he to you anyway. He uh, he calls out boy, and uh, Lucas like scampers from the other set of stairs, like comes down real quick, and they leave. Uh, Run if you wish. We will see each other again. And as as you say that, <laughs> and probably like start coming back down because Bryn is there and she's bubbling with blood again. And you're you're leaning over like, with these two swords in hand now. Yeah. You're like this is the end end scene here where we're gonna end this. So you're leaning like down at Bryn, like looking to see like is she gone for good this time? Because yeah. there's blood again, and that doesn't look good. She's pale. So you're with this like one blade bloody from the throat slice, and you're leaning down at Bryn. Uh, you hear a couple of footsteps uh like two two distinct footsteps at least uh on the stairs outside and in walks uh Butel, the um, uh bailiff of the duke Redorben, for whom you work you know him from court yeah. um Butel walks in as as does uh what is your father's name gunter I don't think we ever established my father's cool. name. Your your father, father walks in with capital F. Faja, Faja, hello, Faja. <laughs> so, uh, Butel uh, walks in with your father, and he surveys the scene of the partially kind of messed up railing at the top of the stairs because, like the. Lord Stravid fell uh, over it. It kind of broke because it's not made to withstand his weight. The ruined body of Lord yeah. Stravid on the floor. <laughs> you there, two swords, one of them bloody. Bryn, ugh, bloody on the floor. Uh, Do I get a chance to say something? No, not, not in this game. Oh. Next game. Uh, so, Bootle, uh looks to you. And he reaches back and brings out a set of manacles. And that's where we, like, cut credits. <laughs> nice. This ain't over till it's over. <laughs> no. This ain't over till the zomb zombies eat us. I don't know. It's all right. Just give me a chance to wake up. I'll summon the manacles to me. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, ha-ha! Oh. Dunk! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, that was that. Was that. that was dinner for one. <laughs> It was almost dinner for at least five people, uh, but yeah. <laughs> well, thanks very much for running it. Very much enjoyed Thank it. Thank you very much, man. Yep. Had a good time. Yep. Good full Brian Blessed at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Never go full Blessed, man. <laughs> yeah. Limit the blessings. Okay. Uh, so that is that. That is that is part two of the trilogy of Twilight in the Duchy Verdorb. Dinner for one. Fridays. Session three. 9 p.m. <laughs> Trial of <laughs> Splendid. Okay, well, thank yep. you very much, guys. I shall stop the stream here.